put your hood back on. Yeah. Looks like a thug. Okay, what am I doing? Augustine, oh, I am surprised to see you here. Are you not needed in the headquarters? I can train in order to take my place, dear. But when you are gone, who will captain this ship? You must teach me. No. Aye, I will. No. But you must not call me captain. Well, you are the leader of these man. men. But you have earned the right. At sea, you will be my captain. How did you come by your knowledge of the sea? Are there? No, over here. It was my first true home. Buccaneers offered me my first glimpse of freedom, and I took it. I learned by observation. They will not teach you. Nor accepted me as their captain once I had proven myself. Only the assassins offered me real authority. You were born in Trinidad. So that's where I'm going. I on a plantation. Are there not Maroon there who could use your help? I know I really we are not alone in Saint Domingue to I fight just, for independence. Like, per se, and then board and board. There could well be. I have not returned to find out. How many freaking things are there, man? Okay.
We've looted enough to improve the ship. Okay, that's cool, but I'm still going to Loose and trim too! Trim two! I'm gonna Loose kill this real quick. Man. Hell, I don't want to whistle at somebody. <laughs> Monsieur Adwelly, the Mayon cause has made an ally of you. Augustine speaks highly of your help. I do not know how much longer I'll be able to continue, but the Maroons are outstanding warriors. Augustine has provided me with everything I might need to get by until I return to my brothers. I believe you owe me a parcel, then. Oh. Let me hold it a while longer, for safekeeping. You are not a man of your word. 
My wood was perhaps. It stands. Damn. How little you must think of me. On the contrary, you have maintained your freedom among the French by the deft handling of your indispensable business. I respect you highly. What would be a fool to trust anyone so clever so soon? What a keen eye and sweet tongue you have. She's got those googly eyes like, yeah. Since you cannot <laughs> provide me with the one thing I truly desire, I hope to compel you to demonstrate some respect by some other means. I would consider it. I need a careful and observant man to investigate the Gouverneur. I must oh, know no. what distracts him. And why he enforces the Code Noir ever more strictly. The lives of the slaves depend on it. I share your curiosity. I'll pay you this favor for the slaves. Perhaps there is some honor in you yet. That was sexual. She wants the deed. You will need a disguise. Please, change into these. Me to get naked. A slave's rags. What do you mean by this indignity? Do you mean to see me recapture? Indignity? Do you hold your enslaved brothers in such low esteem? Do you hold any man in high esteem? Or are we all pawns to you? I'm gonna go with no. <laughs> you should be so lucky. There is no trick. It is only that, well, oh, that was Gouverneur weird. Lafayette was will like, host a soirée soon. But, and imagine, I not am not to... invited. Yeah. <laughs> the excess of the occasion calls for an abundance of supplies to be delivered to his mansion. That's where you come in. With your crate, you will blend in with the men delivering the goods. Look at her thigh. Once on the she ground, you can spy on the good Gouverneur. Will the overseers not notice one man extra? Oh, or are you man. simply unconcerned for my well-being? <laughs> I've never met an overseer who could tell two slaves apart. Nevertheless, be careful. I sense you are as bright as you are strong. You will maybe, figure it out. Not. Yes, ma'am. Here they come. Join the line. Be careful. Yes, I am. Oops. <gasps> What's going on back there? Fall in line. Oh, he didn't know. 